Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, in this video here, I'm going to uh, be doing a little restoration work here on this uh, Western L66 fixed blade knife here. It's got this uh, leather stacked handle here. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be rejuvenating that handle, putting some uh, neat foot oil and, and treating with a little beeswax and um, then on the blade itself here, I'm going to uh, buff and polish that blade. Let me just give you a little closer look right there. Y'all can kind of see how it looks right now. And uh, the uh, leather sheath right here, you see how it looks. I'm just going to uh, do some treatment on the leather sheath also. And uh, when I get through y'all, I'll bring y'all back and uh, show you uh exactly how it looks and like i say right here on the end here you can might be able to see that right there it's got a little pitting going on right in there i'm gonna do a little buffing on that i'm not sure if i'll get all that out but uh we'll see what it looks like after i get finished there all right y'all i'm back and uh i got this uh sheath knife kind of taken care of kind of like i want it here and i just want to show you what it looks like now on this sheath right here, I just uh, rubbed in some neat foot oil real good on it and uh, let it uh, soak in good. And then I uh, uh, put it out in the sun and uh, that dry a little bit and going to uh, put some uh, beeswax on it compound and uh, finish it off. But I'll uh, show you what kind of looks like there. Put that in there. It's all down in there. I got it all down inside of it and everything. But it uh, looks real good now compared to what it did. Good and then it's not dry no more. And uh, another thing, y'all, I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to retire this, even though it lasts, you know, many more years. Since this is the original sheath, I'm going to go ahead and put it up and I keep it. And I'm thinking I'm going to be making another sheath for this uh, knife here. But you can see right there, it made the color a little bit darker there. Well, actually, a lot darker. But that's all right. It still looks good that way and it's going to be protected. Now on the knife here, what I did, I just uh, polished the uh, blade a little bit there. I didn't spend a lot of time on that because I didn't want it just, uh, just crazy polished. But uh, I just wanted to kind of clean it up a little bit and uh, polish this brass uh, finger guard right there. And uh, show you all that, how that looks. Kind of see there how it looks now. I say, if you want to spend an hour, a couple hours on it, you probably get that a lot better, but I didn't want to spend just a lot of time on that because it's going to be a knife I'm going to be using back and forth, you know, plan on hunting with, you know, using it, taking the hunting with me this year and uh, need to clean my deer and stuff. I'm going to try this knife out here. And um, on the handle itself, I just used that neat foot oil, soaked in real good, a lot of it, and rubbed it in. And then I put like three or four coats of that beeswax uh, compound right here that I made. And all that is just uh, uh, two thirds uh, neat spit oil and one third uh, beeswax. And uh, so that I, I like using that y'all on a lot of my leather stuff, especially if it's going to be outdoors. Uh, it's going to repel the rain, water, different things like that really good. And it's real easy just to come back and coat it. So, um, on that pommel right there um i just polished it just a little bit i didn't spend much time at all on that y'all it looked you know pretty good i didn't want to just get it shining anything like that because that's not my intent to make it look that you know shiny but anyway y'all just want to show y'all that how that turned out and uh show this side here turn it over kind of see right there so i got kind of polished up a little bit but uh when I start using it, that's going to, like I say, that'll go away. And also, I sharpened it up right there. Got it real sharp. And uh, so, it's, it's ready for me to take hunting this year. And uh, I'm going to show you all this right here, too. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, as far as going hunting and stuff, uh, I made me this little ammo uh, pouch right here to keep my ammo in this year. I've never had one of those, even though I've been making quite a few of them. Uh, I just made this one right here. I decided to keep that for myself. I like it a lot. And uh, it, this has been treated probably, man, I don't know, six, seven times probably with that compound, that beeswax. And you kind of see right there, man, it's, it just, it's on there really good. And 
Uh, I'm going to take it, like I say, use this going hunting. And uh, I always wanted one of these and uh, never did buy one. And that's the great thing, y'all, about uh, doing something to yourself. You can you can build, you know, build or, you know, make whatever you want, uh, whether it be woodworking or leather work or whatever. You kind of want something, you kind of do it, you know, put it together and instead of having to worry, you know, about going by it and, uh, like I say, it's, it's a, I don't know, it's a good satisfaction, good feeling that you get for, you know, making something like that and get to use. And like I say, this lasts just about near a lifetime, you know, you take care of it. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, just want to show you all that because that, these two things right here is going to be something new with me this year. I'm going hunting. I normally take a, uh, knives of Alaska camp knife with me and I'm still going to be taking it with me. It's going to be in my hunting bag. But uh, this year I'm going to try this uh, knife out here because, like I say, it's, it's, it's a good you no know, design, good good lightweight. It's not heavy at all. And uh, it does have a very sharp edge on it, y'all. And I look forward to getting to use that this year. And uh, But when I make a sheath for it, if I have time before hunting season, and uh, if not, I'll just have to use this sheath right here. But if I have time, I'm going to make me uh, a sheath, and I'll show y'all what that looks like. But uh, anyway, y'all, I just want to bring y'all along and show you what that looks like after I got through doing some uh, cleaning and polishing on it. And uh, another thing, just real quick, I'm also got, uh, did a little research on this knife right here. And I know 1991 or 92, I, looked, I found a, a PDF file, and it showed these knives. And... Uh, at that time, they done started making these blades out of stainless steel, and the finger guard here was not brass. It was either like a uh, aluminum or stainless steel uh, finger guard. So that's something uh, interesting, you know, if you like knowing a little bit more information about that kind of stuff. Because I was thinking the, the two knives I had, I, I couldn't remember having a brass finger guard. So uh, it was probably, you know, Somewhere in the probably the eighties, late eighties to early nineties, they actually changed that over. But uh, this, like I say, this is a nineteen eighty two when it was manufactured. So uh, that that's that's interesting. So if you ever, you know, see one that's got the brass um, finger guard on it, you, you know, you know it's probably a little bit older uh, knife. And uh, so anyway, y'all hope y'all enjoyed the video and. Uh, Appreciate y'all coming along watching, and as always, friends, from my family yours, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.